all right all right welcome back once again please don't mind me um now we are going to in fact before we start please i urge you i urge you we spend time in making these videos please do well to subscribe if you have not subscribed to this channel do well to subscribe to this channel because we love you so much then hit on that um, bell icon so anytime we release a video you will be notified and if you have any question go to that comment section and ask your question share this video to your friends that are interested in learning Igbo then like this video just click on that like option there do it thumbs up you see it is up like this just click on it thank you very much today we are going to look at on go go na ego e here on on Igbo that is numerals and counting of items in Igbo just like in English, you have one, two, three, four, two hundred, and so many. So the same thing we have it in Igbo. On on Google Igbo. That is Igbo numbers or Igbo numerals. Okay. In order to say the Igbo numerals very well, there are basic things the children should be made to know first. So. <laughs> There are basic things that you need to know in order for you to read or say the Igbo numerals very well. Now, first of all, we have to know how to say from 1, which is O2. 1 means from 1 to 10. As long as you master from 1 to 10, it will be relatively easy for you to master other numbers. Just master from 1 to 10, which is 1 is O2. Why 10 is Iri? 1 in Igbo is O2. Then 10 in Igbo is Iri. Okay, knowing when and where to insert na. That is another very important thing. You must know when and where to insert na. We are going to do it here. Now, accepting what some figure like 100, 1000, million, billion are called in Igbo. You have to understand what 100, 1000, million, billion are called in Igbo. If you're able to do this, you master the Igbo numbers. Now, the basic things to know about Igbo numerals include. Now, these are the basic things which you have to know. As I told you, you have to know at least you have to know from 1 which is 0 to, to 10 which is iri then you master where to put na then you master what hundred thousand million billion are called in Igbo. if you're able to do this you have learned you learn the numbers very fast now zero like as you can see here zero in Igbo is called efu efu one in Igbo is called o2 10 in Igbo is called Iri. 20 in Igbo is called Iri Abo. 100 in Igbo is called Otu Nare. Otu Nare. That is 100. It's called Otu Nare. But 100 is called Nare. But Otu Nare. 100 is called Otu Nare. When I have 200 is called Nare Abo. 1,000 is called O2 Puku, but 1,000 alone is called Puku. Why 1,000 is called O2 Puku? Then, going further, we have 2,000 is called Puku Abwa. 2,000 is called Puku Abwa. As I told you, that 1,000 is just Puku. Mm -hmm. We're going to add all those numbers. We're going to uh, Puku Abwa. We're going to have 1 million is O2 Nde. Million alone is Nde. Million alone is Nde. So mark those things. But 1 million is O2 Nde. So you now invite that O2 to make it 1 million. Okay, you now have 2 million is Nde Abwa. Nde Abwa. You now have 1 billion. 1 billion is huh? okay. 1 billion is Ijeri. Ijeri. 
that is O2 Ijeri. If you say 1 billion O2 Ijeri, or billion is Ijeri, why 1 billion is O2 Ijeri? Okay, now go for that. When I have from 1 to 6, okay, 1 is O2, 2 is Abwa in Igbo, 3 is Ato in Igbo, 4 is Ano in Igbo, 5 is Ise in Igbo, and 6 is Isi in Igbo. Okay, so we have to continue. You can replay this video as so often as you want. For you to capture also oh, we have to continue okay seven is asa then eight is asato nine is itolu or oh, if you don't call it if you don't call nine itolu we call it itayete yes if you don't call it itolu we call it itayete now ten is iri now eleven is iri na otu uh -huh. i've seen that place where we, we, we put na N A, where you add N A. Uh -huh. So please pay attention now. Okay. We have um okay okay eleven is Irina Otu, twelve is Irina Abua, thirteen is Irina Ato, fourteen is Irina Ano, fifteen is Irina Ise. 16 is Irina Isi, 17 is Irina Asa, 18 is Irina Asato, 19 is Irina Itolu, 20 is Iri Aboa, okay, 21, hey. you see, on a 20, there is no na again, there is no na again, just Iri Aboa, then on a 21, you see Iri Aboa na Otu, you now invert that na di again. Iri abwa na otu. Twenty two is iri abwa na. Huh? Okay, twenty two is iri abwa na abwa. Twenty three is iri abwa na ato. Twenty four is iri abwa na ano. Twenty five is iri abwa na ise. Twenty six is iri abwa na isi. Twenty seven is iri abwa na asa. 28 is Iri Abona Asato. 29 is Iri Abona Itolu. Okay, we have 30 is Iri Ato. Okay, we have 40 is Iri Ano. 50 is Iri Ise. 60 is Iri Isi. 70 is Iri Asa. 80 is Iri Asato. 90 is Iri Itolu. Or Iri Itayete. Yes. And 100 is Otu Nare. So that is how we call our numbers. Okay. <coughs> That's how we call our number. Now we will make sentence. Um Okay, this is where we make sentence with the Igbo numbers. Igwe ono ni Igbo, counting of items in Igbo. So we make sentences with the Igbo numbers. Okay, okay, this is we are counting a singular. That is under I counting a singular item. When an item is to be counted, the figure or the number of the item is mentioned before the item itself. Now look at the English version. Asusu beke. Asusu beke means English. Asusu ibo means ibo. So beke. Beke means English. Yes. English means beke in ibo. Yes. English means beke in ibo. Alright. So number A, we have one share, which is English. Then in Igbo is made O to Oche. O to Oche. So cheer is Oche in Igbo. We have one B, one person. We have O to Onye. So Onye is person in Igbo. We have one bed. In Igbo means O to Aqua. So Aqua is bed in Igbo. We have one. Don't call it one, call it a car. 
So one or a car is O2 Ubala. So Ubala means car in English. So car means Ubala in Igbo. So we have the next one which is one book which is O2 Akuko. So book is Akuko in Igbo. Yes, in Igbo. Okay. Um, considering the examples above, one cannot adopt the English method that said one share and say O share O two. No, no, no. If you don't do it this way, as I tell you people, you my students that um, you, you don't talk, if you do it like that, that means you are turning it back. Just like you say one book, you say okay. Um, say one share. Okay. Cannot say O she O two, no. Cannot say O she O two. You say O two O she. Okay, say the same thing anyway. Okay, counting of things that are in phrasal form, which are not not below two. Okay, look at the BK. So it's English format. Three books is Apple four Ato. Two cars is. Ubala Abua five bicycles is Igwe Ise. So bicycle is called Igwe in English in Igbo. Ten shares is Oshe Iri. Nine student is Umuakupo Itolu and so on and so forth. So look at the next one, which is counting of items that are made up of three or more words. Okay, look at the English format, which is Asusubeke, which is English. It says two plates of rice. Ibo says a fere osikapa abua. A fere osikapa abua. The next one says three tubas of yam. Obe ji ato. So tuba. Okay. Obe ji ato. Okay. Tuba is obe. Mm -hmm. um, yam is ji. Three is at all. So you can see there. Four bags of gari. Apa gari ano. So apa is bag. Bag in English. In Igbo is apa. Okay. Okay. Let's look at the next one. Which is ten cups of water. Ten cups of water. In Igbo it means iko miri iri. Iko miri iri. Iko means cup in English. Miri means water in English. Five trees of star apple. Five trees of star apple. Osisi odara ise. Okay, star apple is called as odara. Osisi odara ise. Osisi means trees. Alright, okay. Thank you very much. This is where we will stop for now. And please do want to subscribe to this channel. You will have a lot, have a lot. Like this video, like this video, share it with your friends anywhere they are. Share it with those of them that are interested in learning Igbo. Share it with them. Thank you very much. I put in a lot in making this video. So share it. If you want to learn Igbo, contact us anywhere you are in the world. We are capable. We can teach you how to um, learn how to read or speak Igbo. It's very bad that some of us that are from the Igbo part of the world, some of us have forgotten our language. So please teach your children or enroll them. Let us teach them how to read and write Igbo. Very simple. Anywhere you are in the world, you can do that. Just get contact us on plus two three four eight one three three five seven seven four. Six five. Anyway, we use thank God that we have um, education technology. We use technology to teach them anywhere they are in the world. Thank you very much. Share this video, like this video, subscribe, and click on that bell icon. Thank you very much.